you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. Like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. How does mirroring cause obstruction? Thanks to Wide Awake, we clearly see the mirroring in action. We see the reflection of the channel markers in the mirror. The yellow line appears much higher than the red line. From the horizon line onwards, the water is invisible. The water beyond the red line is mirroring the sky. The part of the ocean that is between the yellow and red lines are what we mean by mirroring. The sky is blue so it gives the illusion that part of the ocean is invisible. Now look at the channel marker near the bird rack. You can see the reflection of the channel marker in the mirror section. Now this is the key to understanding obstruction of objects over bodies of water. If you were to look at that channel marker on a day that's not as clear as this one, the channel marker will appear to be longer than it actually is. It's not longer of course, you're just seeing its reflection. This is what is giving the illusion of the bottoms of objects being cut off. Let's now look at an example of this. If we place a white rectangle over the mirror section, you see how the channel marker should appear. If we take the white rectangle away, we see the reflection of the channel marker again. Okay, but how does this cause the bottom of islands to be obstructed? Have a look at the channel marker on the right there. It's not actually that high, is it? The bottom part of it is a reflection. So that reflection caused by the mirroring would cause any objects in this zone to not be seen. All you would see is the mirror surface and any reflections. But what if the channel marker was sitting on a little island? The mirror zone prevents us from seeing the island. Again, all we would see is the mirror and any reflections. And if that mirroring disappeared, the island would come back into view. Here is another example this time, the Wadjamup Lighthouse on Rottnest Island. In this shot, you can't see the shoreline as it's cut off by the mirroring. The white rectangle represents the mirror zone. As we slowly remove the mirroring zone, we see that the missing shoreline magically appears. It was there the whole time, but hidden by its own reflection in the mirror zone. All right, is this mirror zone something new invented by flat earthers? Of course not. Mirroring is simply an inferior mirage. It's called an inferior mirage because the mirage appears below the horizon. A superior mirage, therefore, appears above the horizon. So what is causing the inferior mirage? Well, I'll let this guy explain it to you. Right for a mirage, because I'll see him on the road. You'll see the typical sort of water mirage, where it looks like there's water. Once you get up to it, it's not. And what causes, you know, that sort of shimmering effect? What, what causes that? Most people, when they look through the sky through clear air, they just think, oh, it's clear air, it's nothing there. It's not the case, it's a lens. And how much it will distort or affect the, what the viewer sees of an object can vary depending on atmospheric conditions. To demonstrate how that lens bends light waves to create a mirage, Ed brings in a helicopter. Okay, come toward us at maybe 10 knots at 5 feet AGL if you can, over. Just now, the ground is much warmer than the air above it. This creates a gradient of hot to cold air. And since cold air is denser or heavier than warm air, the two air masses create distinct layers. Those layers act like a lens, bending and distorting our familiar reality. The result is a classic mirage, where objects appear below their actual position. Let's roll the next footage of the moving inferior mirage. This driver has filmed inferior mirages in front of his vehicle. Notice how the mirage vanishes as you get closer to it. Very interesting. This means that the visual angle is at play here. As you get closer to the mirage, the visual angle gets bigger, so the mirage disappears. That's why you hear the old saying, they saw a mirage off in the distance. 
but as you get closer to the mirage, it magically disappears. So an inferior mirage is caused when the visual angle is small, and your eyes, or the camera lens, fails to make out the image clearly. The result is it appears to our eyes as an inferior mirage. The inferior mirage closely relates to the angle of view. Returning to Wide Awake's footage, where he states that the mirroring was much closer on this day, and he joked that the Earth must be smaller that day. No, the seeing conditions are different every day. So the point at which the mirroring starts also changes every day. If you've ever zoomed into the horizon and seen that wall of water in your camera, you're seeing the start of the mirror zone. The water extends far beyond this point, but the mirroring prevents our eyes from making out any detail. So for the globers who ask why you can't see forever out into the ocean, here is your answer. You can't see past the mirror zone. You guys have mistaken the wall of water to be the horizon line. Now guys like Ranty, Wide Awake, myself and every other flat earther out there who films over water knows that conditions change every day. And where the horizon line sits also changes every day. So how can the horizon line change every day? That makes no sense until you realise that this line is simply the start of the mirror zone. And the angle of view past this point gets less and less, so nothing is visible past this point. Okay, quick GoFundMe update. The money has now arrived in my account. Big thanks to Josh for doing that. I'm waiting for the drone to arrive. It should be any day now. As soon as it arrives, myself and a couple of experienced drone guys here in Perth will take it through some tests. From this testing, I'll have a better idea of what's needed and we'll purchase the remaining items then. The infrared V180 camera has been ordered from Infrared in the UK. They won't accept payment until 1st of March for VAT reasons, but they have started preparing the camera already. I've started a spreadsheet with all the items to be purchased and receipts so far. Check the description box below for the link. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.